I study at the radio teaching program and I study by myself. Attentively as we go through today's lesson. My school closed because of this Ebola epidemic. And Sierra Leone's 1.8 million children are gradually returning to school more than eight months after classes were shut due to the deadly Ebola virus. No, there isn't. That's somewhere else. There is. Okay, there's a civil war and poverty and water shortages and issues. No. Do you know what's currently happening in this This is your country. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. No. No, I have no idea what's happening. Unfortunately, no. I could guess that maybe... I think there was some vi violence going on there, fighting. Yes, I, I do. Ebola is happening. Well, it stopped now, right? Uh, I don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> um, I have to say, I'm not, I'm not too upset. I know sort of the Ebola crisis, um, but sort of the aftermath of that, I'm not too, not too sure. <laughs> I haven't a clue. <laughs> See, we, um, Honestly, I couldn't say, but someone did come up to me and talk to, talk to, me, uh, talk to me about it earlier today. Oh, I, I don't know, I've never heard of them before. Mm, nothing, do you know anything about it? No. I don't know anything about Educate. Uh, no. I don't know a lot at all, fortunately. Uh, I don't know anything about this charity. I don't know anything. No, no. I have not heard of that charity, no. About that? No, I've never heard of it. No, no, I haven't heard about it. Well, they're a charity that helps rebuild schools, gives children the opportunity to go to school, a place to live, a place to eat, a safe place so they can learn like us. Is this on? Oh, it's on. So, my psychiatrist has given me this camera to hopefully get over the trauma of what happened. Just to give myself a little background, five years ago today my brother hung himself, my twin brother hung himself and it was suicide Basically, I've been having trauma ever since, just like knowing that he's gone and I'll never be able to see him again. And just the times that I wish I could see him one more time. So, this has been the end of my first diary. I hope that this is making some help in my progress to feel better, but okay, so how do I stop this thing? It's changed so much over the last couple of years since you died. But most things have stayed the same since you've gone.
Hi, my name's Ashley Harris and I'm a juggler. I spend at least an hour a day practicing. My other interests are drumming and photography. I've got a full five piece drum kit set up in my house, which I'm on nearly every day. Alongside all of my hobbies and interests, I do have a job. I work at the Brickyard, but hopefully I can use my juggling skills and when I'm old enough, I'll be able to bowl flip. I've had my, before my talent before. I've been on the opening scene for Britain's Got Talent. Also used to fill throughout the show. I've performed on BBC Midlands News. I've also performed at weddings, street festivals and cabaret shows. I would like it to be my only career, as it's not guaranteed work, but I'd like it as an extra on the side, maybe just make some more money. The £200 prize money, I'd put it in my savings and that would help me go to multiple juggling conventions up and down the country throughout the rest of the year. In 10 years time I see myself being 27, but also having a career, whether that be in the media industry or the music industry and still juggling. Nailed it! My name is Freddie Cossey. I am a singer. I'm, I'm quite loud. Uh, I talk a lot. And my brother just didn't like me talking at all. So I started singing and that would annoy him even more. So I thought it was great. I am the president of the student union. I attend regular meetings with the executive team at the college. I also work in a West End theatre. So I'm an usher there serving ice cream to upper middle class white people since October. And I've done a couple of musicals before, so I've performed in shows at the Queen's Theatre Hall and Church and Broadway Barking. I've performed in Fame, Bugsy Malone, Dracula Spectacular. And I've, done, I've done a couple of shows, nothing major, but just uh, for my own enjoyment really. I see myself either with a successful career in theatre, hopefully dream big, or if it doesn't all go to plan or I change my aspirations, um, I'll have a maths degree, so I'll probably go end up teaching maths. I wanted to do something different. I didn't. I didn't want to just sing another pop song. So I'm doing something from a genre that I really like, and I hope that in doing that, it will allow you to enjoy it as well.